God bless you on this wonderful day that the Lord has made. You know, I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Lowe's, uh, just about to take back a product that my wife and I don't need. And I was sitting here thinking about something. You know, there are a lot of people that I've encountered personally who lack confidence in God and I know why that is <sighs> well when you have confidence in someone it's simply because of your past experiences now I don't understand why a lot of people don't have confidence in God because if you think about every single thing that you've gone through I promise you you've come out of them. Whether you came out scarred or hurt or damaged, you came out. And I pray that you're going through or you've already gone through the healing process. But people don't have confidence in God simply because they really don't know what he's saying about this situation. I mean, let's be honest. If you say that you have lost confidence in somebody, it's because they didn't do what they said they were going to do. Or they did something to you that prior to that particular situation, they would never have done that to you. Now, we know that we cannot righteously and rightfully blame God for any negative, what we would call negative occurrence in our lives. But I want you to really take a look at your life and ask yourself, do I really have confidence in God? When I ask God, do I really believe he is going to do what I asked him to do? I want to help you with something. I'm going to give you a secret of how to have confidence in God. The big secret is this. Yes, I do know we can pray the logos, the written word of God. King James amplified, you know, we can pray what is written. I believe in that 100%. But will you be honest to say that there are times you have prayed what you've seen written and you still wondered if you're going to receive it or not? We all have. And... This is what I would call a secret, what I want to share with you, how to always have confidence in God. The secret is this. Find out from God how he wants to handle your situation. Find out from God what he wants to do about your situation. Specifically, right, wait until he speaks to you specifically. And there are four ways that the Father speaks to us. Number one is through the Word of God, the written Word of God. Number two, directly to us. And if we are not listening to Him through what we're reading, if we are not open and sensitive to His voice, the third way is through someone else. He'll send somebody to tell you what He's been trying to get your attention to be towards. The fourth way usually gets us a situation. Yes, God will speak through a situation. So I want to encourage you to find out exactly what God wants to do about your situation before you just put faith in something that you just want to happen. Okay? That's the secret to having full 100% confidence in God. Find out specifically what he wants to do first, and then you can have full confidence to know not only is it backed up in the word, but God gave me his personal assurance and his personal way of how he's going to handle this situation. All right. I love you. God bless you.